Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? And welcome to episode 2 of Trading for the BPL in a form edition. I'd just like to say if you are looking to buy some coins, then check out VivaCoinShop.com. The links will be in the description. But either way, let's get straight into today's episode. And as you can see in the top right hand corner, we have 1.5k, which means we have spent some coins on players. So first of all, we have a Steven Gerrard. Obviously, the camp for Liverpool paid 5.9k for him in a 4-3-3 formation. Send him off to the trade pile and we go ahead and check the cheapest by now. And as you can see, the cheapest by now was indeed 7,000 coins. Now, from here, we are indeed going to list Alice for 6.9k, just 100 coins cheaper than the cheapest by now. And he should go ahead and sell, and that's going to be around an 800 coin profit after EA tax, which isn't bad at all. You know, it may not seem the best, but, you know, considering we're so early in Ultimate Team, um, you know, any profit is good enough for us, you know. But the next deal was this Jesus Navas, you know. 4-3-2-1 formation, paid at a 4.4k for him, and as you can see, when we check the cheapest by now, there were 2 for 7.8k, and, um, 2 for 8.6, so, uh, due to ours being in a 4-3-2-1 formation, which was by far the best out of the 4 listed, we end up listing ours for around 8.2k, so that will be a very, very nice profit there, and, uh, we're basically doubling our coins, you know, I believe we make around uh, a 4k profit on him, which is a pretty decent profit, to be honest, guys, you know, and he does go ahead and sell there, as you can see, and as we removed him from the trade pole, the Joar did also sell, so that was, uh, some pretty nice profit there, altogether 5k on both of those players, but, moving on, we picked up a rise or so, um, uh, quite a new inform to be honest guys, I've liked to build out in the BBVA, he's a Spanish goalkeeper in a 4-3-3 formation, we paid 14,250 coins for him, got to listen for 17k and um, that should be around a 2.5k profit after tax and as you can see he does go ahead and sell and uh, you know that's quite a decent uh, little bit of profit there but moving on we picked up um Quite a lot of nice deals here to be honest. We did some mass bidding on Aspilicueta, the Chelsea right back in a 4-3-3 formation, picking him up for around 1,000 coins, and as you can see, we end up listing him for around 1.6k. So altogether, that's around a 600 coin profit, and um, you know, you do you, you do see that we end up listing all of them. But then the next deal was this Conti. Now, uh, 11,000 coins we paid for him, and he's in a 4-1-2-1-2 formation. He's obviously in the Serie A, and he's Italian. Now, uh, he's one of those cheap, sort of popular informs. You know, I've seen him in quite a few squads, and we're going to list him for 14.5k, and that'll be around a 3k profit after tax. And, um, you know, you can see there he does go ahead and sell, along with the Espil Equators, and that leaves us with 24,729 coins. And from here, we pick up an inform Michu. This is his second inform in the 4-4-2 formation. We pay 21,250 coins for him and the cheapest by now was around 24k but in the 442 it was 28k but I end up listing ours for um, 25.5k so that's going to be uh, quite a decent 4k profit after tax and um, as you can see here guys he does go ahead and sell then to finish off the episode the last deal is indeed another severe player just like the Jesus Navas we picked up a Negredo in a 423 on formation for 15k now the cheapest by now was actually 17.5k but in the 423 one it was 23k so I end up listing in mind for 20k you know hoping that he sells and um you know he does indeed go ahead and sell so that's some really really nice profit there i believe that's around 4k after tax which isn't bad at all so altogether guys as you can see we have made 20,000 coins which is you know very very decent you know uh, quite a nice way to start this series and next episode we do pick up some awesome awesome deals so you know if you are looking forward to seeing that next episode then drop a like rating now if that smash the like button guys if we could hit 150 likes that would be absolutely awesome and obviously i'll bring you guys episode 3 tomorrow so other than that guys hopefully you did enjoy the video obviously if you did like i said don't forget to drop a like rating and I'm out. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.